Hi guys and welcome back to another tutorial brought to you by Reillusion, hosted by iClone 3D. I'm Trista Ross and in today's tutorial we're going to be looking at how to cast and throw objects. Very um, simple thing to do, it takes a little bit of manipulation, a little bit of kind of understanding how to use the physics, but I'm going to break that down for you today and show you how to do that in a few quick and easy steps. So firstly we've got this clip here in front of us and if we just play that back you'll see the character throws the ball but of course we haven't got the ball attached to the character's hand so what we're going to do is we're just going to link that to the character's hand by clicking this little link function up here and then we're going to link that to the character's right hand you'll see in the link section that comes up as the right hand and that will mean the prop is now linked to the hand so when we play that back you can see it's stuck to the hand now the trick is of course we're going to find the point where she releases the object and then we're going to unlink the prop at that exact point. So just right here, we're going to unlink it. And now if we play that back, you'll see the prop then is unlinked. So now what we're going to do is we're just going to be using the physics uh, to actually create the physics behind the throw. So firstly, what we want to do is we just want to create a physics plane by going up here into the create section and creating a physics plane. And this is going to basically work as a floor so the object will actually have something to bounce off of so it's really cool and that sets that throughout the whole grid so what we're going to do next is we're just going to come down here to the prop and we're actually going to set the physics on the prop as well we just want to set this and activate that by turning them on and we're going to change that to a sphere and that's just basically going to match the sphere here you can see the red outlines have actually transmitted into a sphere shape instead of a box and this is just going to ensure you get the most realistic results. We can also reduce the collision margin here to about 50, up the elasticity to 100 and we can play with the friction and drop that down to about 3 and finally we just need to turn off the rigid body up here and we'll just play this back and we'll see what happens. But you can see straight away that we're not getting the right results because the ball's dropping to the ground. Now the reason that is is because the physics is set to dynamic physics. So what we want to actually do is set that here to kinematic and then we're going to go further down in our timeline just to the point where she releases and we're going to change that back to dynamic. And then you're going to see we should get the results that we're looking for in terms of the release point. So when she gets to the release point, you can see the prop is no longer attached or linked to her hand. And now if we play that back, you'll see the object actually leaves the character's hand and we get this nice throw-in simulation. So really quick and simple to do. And what we're gonna do here is we're just gonna select our prop and we're actually just gonna play around with the initial force of the prop. And that's just gonna give us a more kind of realistic motion in terms of the prop kind of going a little bit up in the air as she throws it. So we'll change the value to about 700 here. And then you're gonna see when she actually releases the prop, there's more of an arc to the throw and the ball kind of arcs in the air first before kind of landing on the floor. So you can see it's actually going much further off the screen um, and that is due to the actual force being a lot higher than the initial force was. And we can now see the ball actually kind of arcs in the air. If you compare it to the other ball, you can see um, there's a lot more arc and it goes kind of up in the air. So the force is a lot more and it kind of just makes the emotion a lot more realistic and it really kind of adds to the effect. Now, if we look at the before and after, you can see with the set link and the link unset, and then you can see with the physics applied, the ball bounces along the floor. So really hope that helps. So just to recap, all we've done is we've linked the prop to the hand and we've unlinked it at the desired point where we want it to release. And then we've created a physics plane, which is gonna act as a surface for the ball to bounce off. We've set the physics onto the ball and we've chosen a kinematic physics at the first point where she throws it. And at the last point of release, we've changed the physics back to dynamic physics. And that will then create the throw in motion and allow the prop to you know, roll along the floor and bounce along the floor. And then all we've done is we've changed the initial force of the prop and we've upped the force a little bit just to get more of a kind of arc in motion and the ball kind of releasing with a little bit more force to add realism to the way the character's actually throwing the ball. So I really hope that helps guys and really hope to see you guys again soon for another tutorial.